Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be talking about the books that I will be reading this November. Um, I have a fair few and most of them I've actually already started. This is kind of a really random reading month for me. Um, there's really no theme to the books that I've chosen. I've just kind of chosen them because I have started um, three of them and I would like to finish three of them. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of go ahead and get started and I feel like if I make this video it's going to push me to get through them. The first one I'm going to talk about is 2666 by Robert Bellario, um, Bellanio, sorry, and I hauled this a while back and this is a book that I have started but I'm really not, um, you know, really not that far through it, but I am really, really enjoying it and throughout October I was kind of reading spooky books and you know, I read a few of them and I enjoyed it because it's Halloween, but this month I really want to read more of this book. It's a crime thriller set around several murders that are kind of linked together and this was also a request by someone so I really want to um, you know start reading this so I can get through it and do a review. I'm not going to finish this book this month but I would like to at least get you know a quarter of the way through. I want to get a good chunk of this read because I did from what I read um, the other month I did really really start to enjoy it and would love to get more of it done. So the next book I'm reading is Roald Dahl Madness. Now this was in my October kind of recommendations slash what I was going to read for October. I didn't get around to reading it because I just had so much going on in October. But I only really read one book and a little, little you know, few chapters from other books. So I want to read this. This is Short Stories by Roald Dahl. Um, obviously Madness, so it's his adult um, tales and yeah they're just little horror stories but I'm really interested to read some of Roald Dahl's adult um, fiction so I want to get that started. The next book is really random um, I'm actually about a quarter of the way through this and it's Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Now yeah this is just random I just randomly started reading this in October when I should have been reading you know one of the Roald Dahl books that I was going to read you know some of the short horror stories but I just randomly ended up picking up this because as I said um, a couple of times it was a busy month and it was quite a stressful month and I wanted something fun to read and I just ended up picking up this one and the reason why I picked up this one and um, this particular book in the Harry Potter series was because I saw lots of other YouTubers reading um, some of the Harry Potter books and I was kind of thinking through them and I was watching I watched like a few film reviews um, I'm subscribed to a few film review channels and there was a channel and I think it was like I think it was actually Cinema Sins where he was going through all the Harry Potter films and I was kind of watching them and I kind of realised I actually don't know that much about the Half-Blood Prince now obviously I've seen the film and I've read all of the Harry Potter books, but this is the book that I remembered the least. So I actually thought, you know, you know what, I'm just going to pick it up and read it. I mean, the first few books I was a kid when they came out, and I remember my mum reading them to me, and I loved them. So obviously I reread them as an adult. And the last few books in the series I remember reading on my own when I was a kid. But for this book, some for some reason, I just don't remember. I think this book actually belonged to my sister when I was younger. I think she read it. And then by the time, you know, she'd finished, I don't actually think I read it. Um, I know I read it briefly as an adult and I've seen the films, like I said. But yeah, I don't really remember that much about this one. And it's kind of an important one. So I know what happens in the story, obviously, but I just really wanted to read it for myself and make it fresher in my mind. Because all the other books, I can tell you the storylines. I can even quote them heart by heart, you know, without having to read them, you know. I just know it off the top of my head, but for some reason this one I don't remember it as well, so I thought I'd read it. It's a Harry Potter book, and it's fun, and it's easy to read. I love the characters, so yeah, I just kind of picked it up and started it, so I would like to finish it. So that's another one I'm going to read, so enough about that one. <laughs> um, the next book, again, this is so random. I picked this book up because, as a child, I don't know why, but I'm, I'm feeling kind of nostalgic recently, and... I saw this in my local Waterstones and I had to pick it up. It's How's Moving Castle by Diane Wynne Jones. This was my favourite book as a child, absolute favourite. Um, like on par with the Harry Potter series, like seriously I love this. I think I actually read this before the Harry Potter books. This has been out a very, very long time this book. And I remember 
I've been kind of going through eBay recently buying some second hand books from my childhood. I was buying like the point horror books and I was looking at the goosebumps kind of stuff. And then I remembered this book's book um, which I absolutely love and it's actually a series and I've never read the other two in this so it's a trilogy I never read the other two books in this series but I read this one and I absolutely loved it I remember everything about this book unfortunately I cannot find this book in the cover that I want to which is really frustrating for me I want the cover that I had when I was a kid and I had this book and I don't know what happened to it, I think I got rid of it, which I'm absolutely gutted about because I really wish I hadn't because now I cannot find this book anywhere in the cover that I want. It was beautifully, it had beautiful image, imagery, it was, you know, a picture of how the wizard and inside his castle and it was awesome. But anyway, enough about that. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know, it really, it really annoys me that I cannot find the correct cover for this book. I saw some Waterstones and picked it up because I've been thinking about it a lot recently and wanted to read it. And I went in Waterstones because um, I was doing Christmas shopping for my nieces and well, my niece and nephews. And wanted to pick them up some books and I just saw this and I had to buy it for myself. This story is just fantastic. I think everyone should read it. It's about um, a woman called Sophie or a girl called Sophie. She is a hatter. She works in a hat shop and unfortunately she gets bewitched with a spell and she kind of goes on this adventure to find her fortune and to just you know once this spell happens to her she's just kind of like stuff it i'm going out there i'm going to live my life while i can and she goes out and she ends up in a castle with a wizard called howl and obviously this castle moves because house moving castle moves around the countryside where she lives or the town where she lives and they kind of go on this pretty epic adventure and this story is just amazing. I love, love the main character, Sophie. She's probably like one of my favourite fictional characters ever. She's just so, I don't know, she just reminds me of me and she's just so bad at us. And she's just amazing and the whole story is really good. It's a story of friendship. It's a story of love. It's a story of family. It's a fantasy. It has magic. It has witches and wizards. And other worlds and fantastic made up little towns and I just think everybody should read this um, and I'm only like I actually have read a little bit of this already I just don't have a bookmark in because um, I remembered where I was I think I'm on like chapter three and I just started reading it last night and it just brought back so many great memories for me um, I just remember this book so well and yeah it's one of my favorites so enough rambling about this um, this was also made into an anime actually, it was that popular, and like I said, there are other series um, in this that I haven't read, which I'll definitely pick up afterwards. And also Diamond Jones in general, I remember reading other books of hers when, when I was a child, I read The Lives of Christopher Chance, she's just a fantastic um, author to be honest, I just really enjoy all her books. But if you have um, maybe like a teenager or... A um, younger reader in your life, or if you're if you're just interested in this book, then definitely pick it up because it's amazing and I love it. And I'll be doing a full review on this um, when I finish reading it. But yeah, so that's enough rambling. I'm sorry, guys. I feel like I rambled and talked a lot of random stuff in this video, um, which was probably very boring. But I'm gonna go now because the light is dying and I need to start reading. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Again, sorry if I talked a load of rubbish in this video. But yeah, I was just in one of those moods. So thank you for watching, if, you're, if you are still watching, if you stayed on this long. And until next time, bye guys.